Doom is a multi-level dungeon in Ultima Online, with level 2 known as the Doom Gauntlet. The primary objective of level 1 is to obtain the key required to access the Doom Gauntlet and its rewards. Additionally, players can utilize the stealing skill to acquire artifacts on both level 1 and level 2, which are primarily decorative items. Creatures on level 1 drop Demon Bones, a crucial component for the quest, the summoning, which is necessary to obtain the key to level 2. The summoning quest is initiated by Victoria the Sorceress, located in the southern part of level 1. She recounts her past encounter with the Dark Father and offers to assist in summoning the Devourer, a bone demon, for players to defeat. To summon the Devourer, Victoria requires 1,000 demon bones, which can be collected throughout Dungeon Doom. Players can hand demon bones to Victoria as they collect them. The most efficient way to gather demon bones is in the Dark Guardian Room, located in the northern section of the dungeon. Once the required bones are handed over, Victoria summons the Devourer in a circle of stones east of her location. Players must then defeat the Devourer to receive their prize, a Golden Skull. The Doom Gauntlet on Level 2 presents challenging encounters and the opportunity to obtain valuable artifacts and recipes. To access the Gauntlet, players must summon Kyloth the Ferryman to cross Lake Mortis by offering a Golden Skull as payment. Kyloth is called forth by double-clicking the bell, and when he appears, the Golden Skull is dropped on him. If he is not given a skull, a skeletal dragon appears and attacks. It's important to party up before handing over the skull, so everyone gets transported to the boat and onto the gauntlet. The gauntlet comprises of wide corridors and rooms containing bosses. Players are required to defeat lesser bosses before confronting the powerful Dark Fathers, who appear in the central area. The number of bosses encountered is proportional to the number of players present, with larger groups facing more challenges. Successfully defeating both Lesser Bosses and Dark Fathers offers the chance to acquire rare artifacts or recipes as rewards. The base chance of achieving an artifact is about 1 in a 1,000 or 1 in a 100 from Dark Fathers. These odds improve as you make more and more kills until such time as you receive an item, at which point the counter resets. Some drops of note are the Scholar's Halo or the Armor of Fortune. Recipes are used to create upgrades of Doom artifacts such as transforming the Midnight Bracers into Cuffs of the Archmage. The Dark Knight Creeper is the first Doom boss to defeat. It is undead and vulnerable to undead Slayer weapons, spell books, and instruments. It's weakest against fire and physical damage. Flesh Renderer is the second boss. It has no Slayer vulnerabilities but is weakest against fire and cold.
Impaler is the third boss. It's vulnerable to demon slayers and weakest against fire and poison. The Shadow Knight is vulnerable to undead slayers and weakest against energy damage, such as the Energy Colossus, Energy Vortexes, and Greater Air Elementals. The Abyssal Horror is the last boss before the Dark Father. It is vulnerable to demon slayers and weakest against physical damage, such as the physical Colossus and Greater Earth Elementals.
Dark Father is the final boss of the Doom Gauntlet and the most challenging. It has several times more hit points than the other bosses but is vulnerable to Demon Slayers and weakest against fire damage. I use the Magma Colossus and Fire Elemental. 